Namaste everyone. First of all, I want to apologize for making video after a long time. It's not like something terrible happened to me so that I could not make videos. I was simply procrastinating. But from now on, I want to take my audience seriously. So please subscribe to this channel if you're new here so I can keep bringing fresh content for you guys. Anyways, without any further ado, let's start today's video. So great news, RX Java 3 is out. I mean, it was there, but now the release candidate is there already. But before you get excited and make necessary changes to the project to migrate to RX Java 3, or maybe you are thinking that you need to relearn everything to understand RX Java, I want to discuss three important things. Number one, you don't need to learn anything new. Yes, there are some changes in the API and features that are added in RX Java 3, which you can see on this page, which is quite updated, but you don't need to understand this, as the philosophy of the language remains the same. Number two, migrate immediately only if necessary. If you really want to migrate quickly to RX Java 3, then you don't need to hurry because RX Java 2 development will be stopped after this year. So you have got almost 10 months. In the meantime, you can check out some great repositories for migration and also see what's new. And the number three, we're not updating anything in the course. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to stick to RX Java 2 for now. Do not think that you will fall behind because of this. Once we're done with the basic constructs of RX Java, then we will quickly migrate to RX Java 3. So don't need to worry. And yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if someone wants to learn RX Java, well, please share the RX Java all-in-one playlist. For now, Mithu is signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.